ポン It's been six months since I last tested this electric scooter for accelerations and range, and eight months since I bought this. I, I use it to go anywhere, and my mom, mainly it's my mom who uses this for her everyday、uh, grocery shopping.、Uh, in terms of wear and tear, there's really not that much.、Um, everything on this bike is as good as brand new, except rust. In a few places like the kickstand and the and the metallic bolt on on the 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 scooter's electric motor, and the, this charging port cover still works very well. Yep, and the switch still feels just as tactile as when the bike first arrived. Um, the seat. The seat is like really the most important. It's really comfortable, but、uh, for me, I felt like after seven miles, it, your your butt do get does get kind of sore. But um yeah, uh the seat's very firm, uh not that firm, but just soft enough. And what else? The, the brake bar, the brake handle, feels just as good. As brand new and the throttle spinner, really nice. One gripe I have about this bike is, is this, uh, this this rubber covering on the on the right handle is keep popping out. And the tire tread, the tire tread is really there's not much wear. I mean, it's not like I didn't ride this bike or my mom didn't. We rode it very often and. The tire、uh, have have been has been holding up really well, and this bamboo、uh, covers and the sandpapers that's on top of it is also holding up pretty well. And the back tires looks pretty good. And finally, the charging cable really not that much. Wear and tears to it. But what about the stuff that we cannot see? The battery and the motor are they the same? Go find out in our testing. So this is how much has to go on the the electric scooter. Well, not exactly because I don't have my shoes on. It's 86 degrees today. Really sunny. So I found this place. It's like really long. It's like the、uh, landing strip of an airplane. This is like perfect for doing an acceleration test. I'm doing. I'm gonna do it right now. So that was it. I got a top speed of 15 miles per hour. All right, so that that is where I park when I work. Now I'm gonna head back home the same way I came. So now I'm heading back home on the same route that I used for the range test six months ago, and I found another chance to do a acceleration test. So here it is. So I hit 16 miles per hour, but I did hit 17 miles per hour for just a one second there, and that's due to the slide down slope that downhill that the bike is on. So、uh, after about 8.2 miles, this bike is finally pr pretty much dead. I mean, it's still it's still relatively fast.、Uh, it's about like six miles, six miles per hour right now. And、uh, if I if I put my feet on the ground and accelerate. It won't really move, so it's dead. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of our test. And in this test, we got a top speed of 70 miles per hour, and squeezed a total range of 8.15 miles in、uh, one hour and 15 minutes. If you want to check out the result from our previous test, 
check out check the links in down description click here for my most recently uploaded video and here for video recommended by YouTube and finally here for video recommended by me subscribe for entertaining and informative videos 12 a.m. Wednesday Eastern Time